Um, okay. Did you know that approximately 10,000 species or subspecies are being lost per year? That makes 27 per day. If present trends continue, we may destroy millions of kinds of plants, animals, and microbes in the next few decades. According to an article from the Lewinston Morning Tribune in 1998, only 280 peninsular great horn sheep roam the Santa Rosa Mountains, and clearly there is a problem here. Um, therefore, today I would like to talk about the peninsular bighorn sheep. First, I will tell you how many of them exist, and then I will tell you why they were placed on the Endangered Species Act. And, and last, I will give you a few uh, steps to help the bighorn sheep. Peninsular bighorn sheep were placed on the Endangered Species Act in March 18, 1998. The Endangered Species Act requires the U.S. federal government to identify all endangered species and populations and to save as much biodiversity as possible regardless of its use of usefulness to, to humans. Cunningham, 2008. The U.S. Federal government does this by identifying habitat that is needed to preserve the animal or the endangered species. According to the Bighorn Institute, today there are approximately 800 bighorn sheep roaming the mountains, um, compared to the estimated 1,200 that were that were roaming in 1970. That same year, they were there was. Seven, I mean, 4,700 to 7,800 bighorn in Baja California. Now, recent studies of Mexico estimate that the population is at 2,000 to 2,500. There are many reasons why these mammals went endangered. According to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, they determined that the peninsular bighorn sheep were um, were endangered because of the because of disease. According to the Nature Conservancy, bighorn are highly sustainable to diseases like pneumonia. Another problem was insufficient land recruitment. One of the nine specified regions where peninsular bighorn sheep are, um, is the northern Santa Rosa Mountains, which are the mountains behind us, <coughs> Highway 74. In 1998, there were only 10 um, female bighorns, and that is really hard um, to reproduce when there's only 10, and, and six of them, Six of them were being raised in captivity, so meaning they couldn't they couldn't go out and meet rams and meet babies. So. Um, <laughs> um, another problem is that the lambs don't survive. And up against the box, Walter Boyce and colleagues from the U from UC Davis said they found um, they found that 90% of the lambs still die. They continue to die from after their first birthday. Mm -hmm. I mean, before. Habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation by urban and commercial development is another problem. When there's when there's too many um, development going on towards um, a critical habitat, it makes a big problem for them to. Um, for them to live comfortably. Uh, things such as the uh, 91 golf courses that are, are in the Coachella Valley, I'm not sure if everyone knew that, but there's 91 um, golf courses that, when I was doing this research, I asked myself, why too many? I mean, what's the difference? It's golf. <laughs> Between 1991 and 1996, 
by Bighorn Parish because of automobile collisions while another strangled himself in a wire. And in my poster, here is a picture of a Bighorn dead. So because of cars. Aww. And here's pictures of the horse. This is what makes that happen. Predation, predation coinciding with low population numbers is another problem. Mountain lions, bobcats, coyotes, and eagles make them make it hard for them to survive. 69% of the bighorn mortality from the fall of 1992 through spring of 1998 um, died because of big cats, banner 2003. This affects the bighorn because they are not living comfortably enough to exist. If we don't do anything to help them recover, they could be extinct and we will never see them. Um, what, it should be very important to us because we live in the Coachella Valley and we see the Bighorn logo everywhere. So um, what are we going to start putting on on the, the Ranch Mirage uh, library if they're dead? Right. Um, and then another problem is that our kids, they're never going to see these creatures. And a lot of our visitors do come to see a big horn, but when there's only a few of them, they can't enjoy that. <clears throat> In April 2009, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced that approximately 376,938 acres of Riverside, San Diego, Imperial County, California, are included in the revised final critical habitat designated for the bighorn sheep. And here is a map of the critical habitat. Like I said, it runs in San Diego County, Imperial County, and the Riverside County. And basically, it's everything from the Santa Rosa, the San Jacinto, and the Santa Rosa Mountains, which are the ones right here locally. And then it runs all the way to Borrego Springs and into um, Imperial Valley, all the way down to Baja, Baja California. Um, although this is a big step for the bighorn sheep, um, us as the community do have um, a few steps to help preserve them. Um, one of them could be to not support local um, development at least not near the mountains, so that way we don't take away their critical habitat. Um, another one is if any of you hike, don't go off the trails, don't start making new trails. And um, dogs, don't take your dogs up there. Um, respect the rules um, because in the in a book, Bighorn Sheep, dogs, authorities agree, should not accompany their owners in trails, on trails through bighorn habitats because canine pets often chase or otherwise disturb wild sheep. Banner 2003. Um, another thing is not to plant invasive non-native non plants. Such plants as um, the laurel cherry or orlander and this is the orlander and this is the laurel cherry. This one, um, this is very poisonous, a very poisonous um, plant, and and the tamarisk because the tamarisk consumes a lot of water. And last but not least is show support to the Bighorn Institute, and you can adopt the Bighorn. <laughs> so here's information about that, and. So in conclusion today, I told you about um, the bighorn sheep, their number, and why they're on the Endangered Spe um, Species Act, and a few steps to help them recreate <coughs> and help them be preserved. Um, and so hopefully they're not um, 
The bighorn sheep, the peninsula bighorn sheep, do not become one of the 27 animals that are being, animals or species that are being um, extinct every day. Thank you.